Greetings. This presentation is one in a series of tutorials about the Ocean Informatics Ocean Air EHR platform. This particular presentation is concerned with template data objects or TDOs. What we'll see today is the use of an open air template as the dataset definition, generating a template data object or TDO from that template and the use of the TDO in a program which will create data and commit it to an Ocean Air back end. So what is Ocean Air? Well it's the Ocean Informatics Open Air platform. It's based on .NET. It's got a number of key services, EHR servers, demographics and so on. It's an implementation of the Open EHR 1.0.2 reference model, ADL 1.4 compliant archetypes and it has a full implementation of AQL. Conceptually we can think of the Ocean Air platform as the target platform in an ecosystem of development tools. What you're going to see today is development in the uh, application development environment you can see on the top right hand side. The use of the template that you'll see in this presentation is shown on this diagram. Hi, uh, today we'll do a short demo of using the Ocean EHR uh, platform and what we'll do is we'll take some medical concept that's been carefully modelled by, by clinicians and we'll take that concept, we'll make it computable and then we'll demonstrate storing and retrieving that medical concept uh, against an EHR using the Ocean EHR platform. So let's start with something that's publicly available on the internet uh, today, and that is the NETA, which is the Australian National eHealth Transition Authority. They have a clinical knowledge management system up on the internet that anyone can register and get access to. And they have started to publish some composition. Here on the left we see a few of them, and today we'll look at this prescription composition. And if I double click it, we'll see that it's all about generating some kind of document that's related to uh, pharmaceutical prescription and it's got things like medication descriptions and doses and timings and when it should start and end perhaps and dispensing information how many repeats you might uh, be allowed to have for this prescription so what we can do is we can take this uh, clinical model that doctors and medical professionals have worked very hard to uh, come up with and we can download the um, operational template and we can get that onto our machine and then we can use the Ocean template designer, uh, load that template up and you'll see it here and it looks much like what we just saw on the, on the web page there. We've got our descriptions and medicines and timings and dispensing information. What we can do is we can uh, ask our template designer to generate some a computable form of this so we can say export a template data object and what that will do will that will output a C sharp class here so we've got prescription composition .cs being created so we can get this template designer to create this C sharp class and then we can start writing software against that C sharp class so let's go ahead and do that I have a little unit test here ready to roll so what we'll do is we'll just initially demonstrate working against that prescription composition class and then we'll save it into an EHR. So I'll type this the slow way so you can see how straightforward it is to get, get started. So we've got a new instance of this prescription composition. Um, we'll build out the minimal requirements for this composition. So there's a few things that are required. We need at least one medication instruction. Um, we'll create an order. some dispensing information. I mean I think that's about all we need really to get this started. Okay 
so we've got a medication instruction. Now we'll actually put some real data into that medication instruction. So perhaps um, we'll give some contextual information about why we're prescribing this uh, medicine. Cure a headache perhaps. Um, we'll use some Panadol. say that this is a single prescription perhaps. Okay, so there's our data stored. Now it's time to store it into our EHR. So that's um, known as committing composition. So we're going to store it against a particular person. And we use this EHR provider, which is really the gateway into the Ocean Air platform, or one of the, the, the gateways. Um, and what we'll do is we'll create a comp contribution, which is really like a unit of work or a transaction boundary, I guess you could call it. Now we'll make our composition savable and we'll put it into our unit of work as well. And finally we will actually commit it. Okay, so that will save it. So let's we're in a unit test, so let's uh, actually check that it works. So we can get that composition back out by using its saved value. And we'll convert it from a, a, a generic composition into our prescription composition. Now at this point we can confirm the result. Uh, we could check particular values inside the composition, but for the moment we'll just uh, confirm that we've got at least one medication in there. So we'll just check that we've got one. Okay, so we should be able to run this and see that uh, the test will pass and that we've saved a new prescription against that person. So we'll do that. While we wait for the environment to spin up, um, we'll just load up uh, the w a web app that's um, pointing to the same repository, so we can have a look through a GUI. So I think the person's friendly number is this. and we'll see already actually that the prescription's just been um, stored in, but we'll see one here. Let's uh, run that test again in a minute to see a second one up here. But here we have some medicine, Panadol, uh, number of repeaters one, and there's the narrative of headache relief. So that's gone through fine. Let's just check our test. Um, still hasn't quite finished up the execution, but it certainly um, committed that composition. So that is showing going from a clinical model uh, to a computable model and being able to store it into an EHR in just a few minutes. Thanks for watching.